Hi guys, this is an example on independent events. You are given that a college student is twice as likely to take the history class than the mathematics class. You also know that the event that a student takes history class is independent of the event that he or she takes a math class. And finally, the probability that a student takes history and mathematics classes is 0.20. The question is to find the probability that a student takes neither history nor mathematics classes. I encourage you to solve this example on your own. And if the answer you find is 0 0.2513, that's the correct answer. You don't need to watch the rest of the video. Let's define some events here. Define the event that a student takes history class to be the event H. Also define the event that a student takes a math class to be the event M. Now what do I have? Number one tells me that the likelihood of a student taking a history class is twice that of the likelihood of a student taking a mathematics class. Number two, the events H and M are independent. We know if two events are independent, the probability of the intersection, H intersection M, is equal to the product of the probabilities, P of H times P of M. Number three tells us that the probability of H intersection M, a student takes history and math, is equal to 0 0.20. Now, the question is to find the following. Let me use a Venn diagram. Say so that's the sample space. Let me say that's event H. Let's say I have event M here. What I need to find is the probability of a student taking neither history nor mathematics. That is the region outside of the union of H and M. So the region outside here, outside of the union. And that is the region H union M complement. And I need to find the probability of that. Now, before I do that, let me use this three given information to find the probability of H and the probability of M. All right, from number three, I have the probability of H intersection M to be equal to 0 0.20. From number two, I know the probability of H intersection M is the product. So this implies the product of P of H and P of M is 0 0.20. From number one, I have P of H equal to twice P of M. So I can substitute P of H by two times P of M. Times P of M is equal to 0 0.20. Divide the left hand side and the right hand side by two. So I have P of M square is equal to 0 0.10, which implies again that P of M is equal to the square root of 0 0.10. But I know from number one, P of H is twice P of M, and that will be equal to twice the square root of 0 0.10. Now I can go ahead and find this probability. The probability of H union M complement is equal to 1 minus the probability of H union M. And that is equal to 1 minus, I can use the inclusion exclusion principle. That would give me P of H plus P of M minus P of H intersection M. Now I have found that P of H is 2 times the square root of 0.10 and P of M is the square root of 0 
and you are given by number 3 that the intersection has a probability equal to 0 0.20. Alright, and that is equal to 0 0.2513.